the DeRosa Art Gallery. What'd you think? It was pretty good. There was some good art. <laughs> what kind of art? <laughs> Sculptural modern art. What's for dinner? Tacos. My rule is, if there's ice cream, order it. But you missed the part about how it's a family rule. <laughs> it is a family rule. <laughs> what do you need? I don't know. I have to see what the flavor. <laughs> I have to see what the flavors are. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, I was afraid I got some on my shirt, but I didn't. That is very sour for like a red wine. Today we're doing the Platypus Wine Tour. Our first stop is the Fulton Family Winery. All right, the David Fulton Winery. That's our first stop. David Fulton Winery, this is Vince. Oh, you're healthy. You don't. Healthy. Yeah. 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 We'll come out, we'll check the sugar content level in the grape using this little device right here, which we call a refractometer. It was good. The Sauvignon Blanc was my favorite. That was the last wine we tasted. It had a complex flavor, but it wasn't overly harsh. Like you could take a sip after a sip and you could still enjoy it. And you would discover new things about it as you were tasting it. <laughs> This is Inglenook, the last winery stop on our tour of Napa. We are going from here back to San Francisco, owned by Francis Ford Coppola. He bought it. When did he buy it? <laughs> when did he buy it? <laughs> when did uh, Coppola buy this place? Oh, I don't know. How much did he pay for it? Um, the, well, the first portion that he bought was $2.5 million. Oh, I know. That was in the 70s. In the 70s. He bought it for $2.5 million in the 70s. Which included the mountain. Yeah. Which is it was pretty amazing. Just wilderness right now. Ready to get on the road? Yes. All right, let's do it. It was great. Going up um, 
on the hillside trail because it was a lot quieter. And you could really appreciate some of the bigger stands. just went into the fortune cookie factory and I made a special fortune cookie for you. It tastes like any other fortune cookie. <laughs> this is a tourist trap and we're right in the middle of it right now. Right now, we're heading over to Alcatraz. About to get on the cruise, going to the rock. Get a good view of the bridge. Okay. Okay. We're about to do a hop on, hop off tour, right? Yes. For some reason, we're doing it at the end of the trip. In the beginning of the trip. I don't think that you need to make excuses or explain it to the video. He didn't understand that he was getting a very good deal. Right. <laughs> right We're in the middle of Golden Gate Park. This is the Japanese tea garden. What'd you order? Um, miso soup and, I ordered, and edamame. And edamame. I ordered a... Uh, udon. Udon, yeah. And we got tea, of course. And tea, of course, because it's the Japanese tea garden. Um, it's really lush and it's actually warmer in here than it was just out there. Now, let's talk about another parade, the St. Valentine's Day nude parade. That's when Gypsy Tribe, San Francisco's very own nudist, marches from San Francisco's Castro District all the way to City Hall and back to the Castro District completely naked. And when she marches, she chants out, Clothes are boring. Clothes are lame. Just say no to body shame. We got skin. You got skin. Love your body. Ain't no sin. Come on, punch and sing that song. <laughs> It's a great way to get around the city and to see a lot of the, the last things that we hadn't gotten to. 